สวัสดีครับอายุบวรวรรณกรรม On the occasion of the birthday anniversary of His Majesty the late King p u m i p o n a d u n y a d e the Great Thai National Day and Thai s Father Day, 5th December 2022, I would like to invite you to join us in commemorating the magnanimousness of King p u m i p o n a d u n y a d e the Great. Who has been a unifying force for all ties, and whose initiatives have rendered innumerable benefits to Thai citizens and citizens of the world alike. Throughout 70 years of his reign, King p u m i p o n Adunyade the Great had reigned with righteousness for the benefits and happiness of the Thai people. His Majesty's lifelong dedication and hard work. Culminating in well over 4,000 royal sponsor projects, had immeasurably contributed to the well-being of all Thai citizens. The sufficiency economic philosophy bestowed by His Majesty upon the people has fostered the spirit of self-reliance and self-immunity to withstand social changes and global economic externalities. Since His Majesty King Mahawachilalungkorn Prawachirakrajauyuhua accepted the throne as the tenth monarch of the Chakri Dynasty, His Majesty had resolved to continue, preserve, and build up on the legacy of his father in generating happiness and stability for all citizens of the land. His Majesty the King initiated volunteer project doing good deeds for the country, religion, and monarchy with a view to fostering a sense of solidarity, incubating a sense of generosity among the people, and shared sense of responsibility, preserving the peace in our beloved nation. Also on this day, 5th December. The international community celebrates the World Soy Day to raise awareness of the importance of soy for agricultural development and food security. The date for the World Soy Day is chosen as a fitting tribute to His Majesty the late King, lifetime's work on soy utilization and research, including preservation in areas of severe deforestation. His Majesty worked on soy benefit not only Thai people but also peoples beyond our national boundaries. Dear spectators, Thailand and Sri Lanka enjoy close and cordial relations. The unique cultural Buddhist tie, long existing between our two countries, has been a strong foundation for bilateral cooperation between Thailand and Sri Lanka. This year, even with the global and local political economic challenges, I am pleased to announce that we had made a few significant steps to enhance our relation. First, earlier in March 2022, His Excellency Don p r a m a t w i n a i Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, attended the 17 b i m s t e c k Ministerial Meeting in person in Colombo. This marked the first high-level visit from Thailand to Sri Lanka since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. At the meeting, the Deputy Prime Minister had met several leaders from b i m s t e c countries and stressed the importance of the region for the security, stability, prosperity of South Asia and Southeast Asia, and also reiterate Thailand's readiness to assume the b i m s t e c chairmanship after the successful chairmanship of Sri Lanka. Second, on June 2022, the Royal Thai Embassy, partner with Aware Lock Initiative, organized a seminar on Buddhist diplomacy at the Buddhist Cultural Center. The seminar highlighted the role that Buddhism has played to ensure long-standing diplomatic relations between both countries and high-level connectivity over a long period of time. 
a book entitled Buddhist Diplomacy, Sri Lanka-Thailand Relations by Dr. George I. H. Cook, diplomatic historian and initiator of the Wallach Initiative, was also launched on this occasion. The new book serves as a milestone in further advancing people-to-people -people relations between the two countries to the study of religious and diplomatic ties between Thailand and Sri Lanka. In addition to the AWARE Log Initiative, from September to October 2022, the embassy has organized a series of Hun Krabok or traditional Thai puppet show and traditional Thai musical performances followed by the workshop of the Thai puppetry art in three cities, namely Colombo, Gaul, and Kandy. The events were organized with an aim to encourage cultural exchanges and promote cultural awareness between the two peoples. It is worth mentioning that one of the main venues for the performance is Sayam Diwasa, the building which previously housed the Royal Thai Embassy in Colombo, located in the vicinity of the Colombo Town Hall, which has recently been transformed by the Royal Thai Embassy into a multifunctional cultural center. Third, since the beginning of the Sri Lankan economic crisis in early 2022, Thai people and civil societies have been at the forefront of providing monetary and material assistance to Sri Lankan people. Notable examples include the donation of 800,000 Thai baht, approximately 8 million Sri Lankan rupee, from the foundation of the former Sankara Shah of Thailand under the royal patronage. Also, the donation of 120 tons of rice from uh, Ramanai Golden Jewelry Temple and the donation of medical supplies and other necessities items worth more than 1,800,000 Thai baht, approximately 18 million Sri Lankan rupee from Thai Red Cross Society. It is worth mentioning that these temples and organizations hand over their contributions not only to Sri Lankan Buddhists, but also to Sri Lankans of various beliefs in the pluralistic society. Apart from the contributions from Thai private sector, the Royal Thai government has contributed more than 150 million Sri Lankan rupee to assist Sri Lankan people during this difficult time. Last month, the Royal Thai government donated 367 550 US dollars, approximately 133 million Sri Lankan rupee to support United Nations Development Program projects in uh, Sri Lanka, namely procurement of maize seeds and backyard poultry program. The Thai government in, is in the process of sending 3,060 units of much-needed dextran injection to help curb the spread of dengue fever in the country. The overall contribution from Thailand to Sri Lanka is estimated to be more than 300 million Sri Lankan rupee, reflecting Thailand's genuine effort to provide help to a friend in need during this difficult time. Building on centuries of friendship and partnership, Thailand will continue to stand by Sri Lanka during this challenging journey to help Sri Lanka in all possible ways to respond to and recover from the ongoing humanitarian emergencies and difficulties. Dear spectators, Last but not least, we are pleased with the decision of Sri Lanka to resume negotiation on Thailand-Sri Lanka Free Trade Agreement in January 2023, with expected early deliverable outcome by the end of 2023. This FTA will assuredly play a vital role in increasing trade volume between Thailand and Sri Lanka 
to the targeted amount of 1.5 US billion dollar agreed upon by the two sides during the Thai Prime Minister visit to Sri Lanka in 2018. A stronger economic tie between our two countries will pave the way for more comprehensive political, cultural, and people-to-people -people bonds between Thailand and Sri Lanka. These are just some of the many aspects of our, our excellent relations. Suffice to say that Thailand is a time tested friend of Sri Lanka that we recognize and are optimistic of the potential of this country and that we are committed to working closely with Sri Lankan for mutual prosperity, sustainable growth, and needless to say, long-lasting friendship. So, dear spectator, I wish you a good night. Thank you very much. สวัสดีครับ